My first step to begin testing is actually install the module onto the back of the Versiv display units. I'm going to grab the module and line it up to that first arrow and slide down. Then secure the module like this. Now I'm going to do the same with the remote. Now I'm able to turn both units on. Once the DSX5000 is finished booting up, I'm going to create a project. To do that, I'm going to press the project button, then select change project, create new project, and I'm going to call my project ATEC. Now hit done. The next step is I'm going to create an operator, which is me, Gabe. So I'm going to create a new operator. Hit done. Now hit back. Now I get to actually select my configuration for my testing. So for our demonstration, I'm going to be doing a CAT5 test. So I'm going to select cable type, go CAT5E and I have to select my test limits which are also going to be cat5e. I'm going to hit save and now I get to hit the home page press tools and set a reference. The reference is very important because you have to zero out your permalink adapters and your channel adapters. The first thing I'm going to do is grab one of my permalink adapters and connect it to my main unit. Next I'm going to grab a channel adapter then, and connect that to my remote unit. Now install the permalink adapter onto our channel adapter and you should hear a beep after it's made connection. Now I'm going to press the test button Now I'm going to press the home key and I'm going to actually install my permalink adapter on both units so I can test the patch panel. For that I'm going to disconnect my permalink adapter, remove one of my channel adapters, install the second permalink adapter. Now I'm going to connect my simulated patch panel cable. Next, I'm going to press the test button, and the testing has begun. My Versive mainframe is telling me that the test passed, and it shows me the wire map. And I could press the performance tab to see some of the actual test parameters, such as the length of the test, the resistance, the insertion loss, the return loss, the next, the PS next, the ACRN, the PS ACRN, and the ACRF. After I reviewed all these results, I could press the save button. And now I'm going to continue to my next test. For our next test, I'm going to test a patch cord. To do that, I'm going to remove my permalink adapters and install both channel adapters on top of each versive controller. And now I'm going to connect my patch cord. After they are connected, I'm going to press the test button. And it looks like it is telling us that this patch cord did not meet our specifications. So I'm going to press OK. And it's going to show us which parameters failed. And one neat feature about the DSX5000 is you could press the diagnostic button and look at the TDR and the TDX analyzer so you could troubleshoot and actually zoom into your problem areas. So it looks like there's an issue at about 6.8 feet 
and that's the actual loss. You could continue testing by pressing the fix later button and saving your test result. That way you could basically test all your patch panels and then continue and troubleshoot the bad ones at a later time. To transfer your test results onto a USB thumb drive, you have to be at the main menu. You're going to install the USB thumb drive onto the USB port on the side of the Versive controller. Now press results. Press transfer. And now we're going to export these to this USB flash drive. And now I'm going to select the, our ATEC project and press export. And this tells us that it is finished exporting those files. Now I'm going to press OK and remove the USB thumb drive. The first thing I'm going to do is insert my Linkware CD into my CD drive. Then the folder will come up, so I'll click on Open Folder. Then I'll click on Linkware version 8.2. I'm going to press yes and this will begin the installation wizard. And press next here. Agree the terms and conditions. Press next. Press next. And within a few minutes, the linkware will be installed. This message will tell you that the installation is complete, and I'm going to press finish. Now I'm going to insert my USB thumb drive, double click on the linkware icon. and click on file import from test files and from here I'm going to find my USB thumb drive and I'm going to select the project that I called ATEC and the file itself and then press OK I'm going to press import all test results to import all five tests. And from here you can see all the tests that got uploaded. On this test that passed, I'm going to click on detail to actually see the results. And if I want to export to PDF, I'm going to click on the PDF tab. Then select Selected Records in List. And I'm going to save that to my desktop. And I'm going to call our project ATEC. Then press Save. If I want to export my test results onto a PDF document, I'm going to click on the PDF icon, then select on Select Records in List, and I'm going to save this as Project 1. Then press Save. So you can see here the PDF saved to my desktop and I can scroll down and see my test results. And this concludes our how-to video.